Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm not Joshua Bardwell, but you might learn something. We're going to talk about SD cards, their formats, the specifications, and how that all relates to HD Zero. Okay, so the other day I was out here flying. If you saw my previous video, you know, and I was testing out the 4.3 stuff and ran into a problem where my SD card wasn't being recognized. Now, if I had been smart, I could have just attempted to format the SD card in the goggles, but I didn't do that. Lesson learned, I should have. Um, but what ensued was I decided to go on to the, uh, the DiviMath Facebook group and just ask and see what the deal was, what, uh, what could cause, cause the card not to be recognized and so i posted it and i got back a pretty quick response that basically said it doesn't support anything over 32 gigs and i was like oh okay and then that quickly ensued into an argument between this guy and the other guy very civil they weren't they weren't mean or anything but a discussion we'll say a discussion not an argument a discussion um between these two guys about what was maybe it's three guys two or three anyways about what was supported and what wasn't supported and the one guy was adamant that you couldn't do more than 32 gigs the specification for sd card says 32 gigs and fat 32 and hd zero says they just support fat 32 and anything more than 32 gigs the specification says that it's a different x fat um, and you know there was this discussion back and forth and the guy was basically like well you know you can format it in the goggles and it recognized and the guy's like ah oh, it's going to show you it's it's smaller than whatever it's not going to it's not going to utilize the whole space you're going to be wasting space and he's like no i've been using this way for months and it's been fine and back and forth back and forth back and forth so um i went and looked myself to see and i found that fat 32 the file system actually supports um at least eight terabytes according to the documentation now i also found that the sd card association um, that kind of is trying to set standards for sd cards and formats and all that kind of stuff they say there's there's like four they say sd that should be fat 12 fat 16 up to two gigabytes from two to 32 gigabytes should be it's SDHC and that should be FAT32. Beyond 32 gigabytes up to 2 terabytes is XDS, SDXC, man that's a tongue twister, SDXC um, and that's XFAT and then anything beyond um, I think it's 2 terabytes all the way up to 128 terabytes I think I got those numbers right is SDUC and that's also using the XFAT file system. So according to the SD Association, the one guy's right. FAT32, which is what the HD0 goggles support, should only be 32 gigs. But just because that's the specification from the SD Card Association, which came out in 2000, doesn't mean that the file system doesn't support more than 32 gigs what i decided to do was put this stuff to the test so i took my 64 gig card and i formatted it on my computer as xfat using the sd association's uh, program you can download it from their their website i'll have a link to it down in the description if you've never used it it's a great program it works really well and it definitely um, gives you the most compatible formats across the board if you format it with it um, fairly likely you're not going to have any issues with any anything it, it works great but I wanted to test this so I formatted it with it and it of course formats that 64 gig card as XFAT according to the specification um, so I put that into my goggles and sure enough it doesn't recognize it 
shows the little icon I was seeing where like I don't have an SD card. Go into the menu and it's like, hey, there's no SD card. You, know, you still get your format option, but there's you no, know, it doesn't have any anything that it recognizes. So I take it out, put it in the computer, and I pull up the um, disk utility. I use a Mac, so use disk utility. And I selected specifically I wanted to format it with FAT32. Well, it says FAT, but it, it ends up formatting FAT32 because um, FAT doesn't support you know 64 gigs. So it formats it FAT32. Take the card out, put it in the goggles. Goggles recognize it. Well, what do you know? It recognizes it. Seems to like it's going to work. I'm not sure yet though. So let's, let's test again. So I take it out put it back in the computer, format it using the SD Associations program again, and it formats it as XFAT. Put it back in the goggles, of course it doesn't recognize it. So I pull up the menu, go down to format. I'm like, I wanna see what this thing formats it as. You know, this one guy swears that it's not gonna utilize the whole space, right? Now, I, I don't know, maybe it will, maybe it won't. So, format it, and sees the card fine, looks like it's okay, it even shows that it's got like um, 60 gigs free, of space so it's seeing the extra space there so i'm like okay let's see what it formatted as so i take it out put it in the computer sure enough it is fat 32. so with that knowledge i think that hd zero actually supports cards that are larger than 32 gigs now that being said the documentation on hd zero kind of hints at fat 32 and that is between 2 and 32 gigs according to the SD Association's specification. So they seem to be saying in their documentation, follow the SD Card Association specifications. So I think your best option is probably to do that, to stick to 32 gigs or smaller and you'll 100% be fine. But I think it will work with larger capacities as long as they are formatted in FAT32. So I'm going to test that. I've got it formatted FAT32. I'm going to fly around a little bit. We're going to see if I have any issues. Now, me not having issues doesn't mean that it's going to work all the time. It just means that it works in this one particular case. So your mileage may vary. Don't take this as saying that you can do this 100% and you will never have problems. I cannot guarantee that. What I can say though is FAT32 supports more than 32 gigs and the goggles here format FAT32 and they recognize the extra space so in theory it should be fine. Now why did it work the other day for me? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. Maybe it was formatted as FAT32 and not XFAT. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can't remember when I last used that 64 gig card. It's been a while. Um, I went and checked my GoPro to see what it did just to see if maybe the GoPro formatted it as FAT32. But the GoPro, at least the 8, um, and I might not have used this, pretty sure I used this car with the 8, but I might not have used it with the 8. But anyways, it formats it as XFAT. Um, so, you know, take it, take it with a grain of salt. Of course, the GoPro recognizes the FAT32. I checked that too. It recognized the FAT32 um, format as well as the XFAT format with that 64 gig card. I haven't tested it to see how well it works with it. And I'm not going to. I want my GoPro to record the footage. So we're going to fly a little bit and we're going to find out. And oh yeah, and you're going to see 4.3. Now, one thing about 4.3 and HD0 to note. HD0, when it records it, it still records it as 1280 by 720. So what you have to do is you have to like actually squish it in so you can actually see what it looks like in the goggles. The goggles are actually shown 4.3, but it records at 1280 by 720. No bars stretched out, so you got to compress it back in. I don't know why that is, but anyways, um, that's what it does. So, let's get to flying. So, sorry if you see anything on the GoPro footage lens. It'll probably mostly be the HD Zero footage, but I might use both. Um, we're going to uh, make sure everything's going good. We're going to fly around a little bit and we're going to see how this, how this works. All right. Ah, uh, look at that wonderful HD footage. Like it. All right. We are still recording, which is excellent. Man, I still I just can't get over how nice this looks. It's so cool to see. 
all this stuff in HD. All right, so we're still recording, which is excellent. So I'll have to, I won't know for sure until I get home and, you know, actually give this a check. And it would just be terrible if it didn't work. But if it didn't work, you know, we all learned something. And I can share my my findings on the uh, the Divimath group, which I'll probably do anyways. Um, I'm sure that one guy will argue with me and just tell me, "Well, if it works for you, great, but you know, it doesn't really it doesn't really support it." And I mean, to his credit, that is what the documentation says. It does say that, but depending on how uh, Carl's implemented this, if he's following the FAT32 specification and not SD car, SD association specification, then, and just doing FAT32, then if he's doing that, Second. then it does support, you know, larger file sizes, which is great. I mean, I think the SD car association is is good in what they're doing but in the same way they are limiting what you can do with with the cart so I don't know you know what do you all think about that you think do you think they are just you know wrong with what they're doing there or um, Man, I love this. This HD footage this is excellent. So nice. Don't hit the trash can today, Stacy. I did that one day. Y'all remember that? Came flying over there and crashed into the trash can. Pretty funny. Nice. All right, let me land this thing. And we'll kind of wrap this up here. Skid that in there. Nice. Let me go get this thing and shut it off so it doesn't overheat. Initial test seems to work just fine. Um, let me see what we're looking at here now. Stopped recording because no video. Perfect. Everything seems to be okay with it. Now, like I said, your mileage may vary. And I'm not saying that you should definitely go use larger than 32 gigs. My recommendation for the best results is to use a 32 gig card formatted with FAT32 and you should be golden, you shouldn't have any issues with it. Um, knowing that at that size and based on the way that it records and the highest bit rate that the goggles record, you've got probably like close to four hours of recording. That's quite a bit on a 32 gig card. So, you know, I don't know that you necessarily need more than that, but it is nice if you can. So if you want to try it, go for it. Um, seems like it's working. I'm going to continue to use it this way. I think, I think in the, the thread, I think I said I was going to go with the 32 gig one, but I think I'm going to stick with this one for a while just to see, knowing that at any point I might not get my DVR recorded. So, and if it, if it decides that it doesn't want to recognize it, then, oh, well, I've got my other my other card I can pop in there and uh, and use. I've got my 32 gig card that I can pop in there and, and use if I need to. So you guys have a great day. Let me know in the comments. Argue down in the comments. Put all your put all your arguments. You know, start a war. I don't care. Anyway, no, don't start a war. Be nice to each other. Um, anyways, the spec says don't use more than 32 gig. Fat 32 though says it can handle more than 32 gigs. So. Six of one, half a dozen the other. No, that's not really the right saying for that. I don't know what the right saying is. Anyways, I'm going to fly another pack or two before I get out of here. You guys have a great day. And never stop flying, guys. See ya.